How's it going? Today I'm going to be comparing Google Sheets with StackBuy. Now I've used both softwares, I love both softwares, but I just want to kind of highlight some of the pros and cons of each software. And I'm also going to score them out of 50. So I have some criteria here in my notebook. Uh, I'm going to score them based on flexibility of the software, ease of use, the formulas that you can use, and basically the formula function, the API capabilities, the look and feel, and then I'm going to total those up and give you guys a total score. Uh, and, and I know this can be a bit uh, subjective. It's totally an opinion. Um, but the main things that I'm that I'm comparing them on are things like the API uh, integrations, uh, formulas, and I'm just going to try to give you guys an idea of uh, what software comes out on top for me. Now, one thing I will mention is these softwares are very synergistic. They can work well together. If you have a spreadsheet over in uh, like Google Sheets or Excel, you can export it as a CSV and actually import it on StackBuy. And that's one of the great things about StackBuy. Um, and that's one of the things that I like is if you have an existing spreadsheet and you wanna move everything over, it's, it's so easy and so quick. So without further ado, let's look at these two softwares head to head. So the first metric that I wanted to compare both of these softwares on is flexibility. Now StackBuy is an extremely flexible software and I'm gonna show you why. So if we go into pipelines here, this is essentially a view of my pipeline. And right now it's in the Kanban view uh, where I can kind of drag people from stage to stage in my pipeline. But behind all of this, there's data, right? And that data can get interpreted a lot of different ways, right? We can also interpret it as a table just like this or a database. You can also interpret the data as a form. So as you can see here, you can add your own custom logo. You can change the background color you can change the heading type, you can make it centered if you want to, and you can just drag these forms in here. And what this allows you to do is just simply hit the share form button and you can embed this on your website by grabbing this iframe right here. Uh, so it's just super flexible and you know it's just one of the things that I like about StackBuy is being able to do uh, things like this, right? So this form is automatically going to push all the data that somebody enters into our overview here. And then I can also interpret it as, you know, different stages. Now, Google Sheets, on the other hand, is typically restrained to, uh, you know, just these basic cells, rows and columns. And while this is useful for certain applications, um, you know, for a beginner, StackBuy is going to be a lot easier. Uh, you know, there you can definitely customize Google Sheets, but it's going to be a lot more complex. And the software is definitely flexible, but I, I kind of question, you know, how many people are going to take it to the limits that it can go to, because you have to really know a lot about a lot to to make this work and to use this how you can use StackBuy. Um, so there's just so many different ways to interpret the data, and for StackBuy, I'm going to give it a nine on flexibility. For Google Sheets, I'm going to give it a seven. It just doesn't impress me as much as StackBuy in terms of being able to add different views, um, being able to interpret the data differently. Uh, but that being said, uh, if you are more of a nerd and you really like getting into uh, messing with these things, Google Sheets can be a flexible solution as well. It's just for the average person, I think StackBuy is the most flexible option. So again, StackBuy, Nine out of 10 on flexibility, Google Sheets, we're gonna give it a seven in this case. All right, moving on to the next piece of criteria and that is ease of use. So how easy is this software to use if a beginner looks at it from the start, uh, from, from just opening it up for your first time? Is it easy to use? Is it tough to use? Well, let's, uh, let's compare these two on ease of use. So I think the spreadsheet is sort of embedded in our culture. We all sort of know how they work, right? You know that you can type certain things in here. You know that you can add different formulas. I can go five, five there, and I can do equals five plus five. You know, people understand the basics of a spreadsheet. Um, so when you first see one, it's kind of embedded in our culture, as I said, but the way that StackBuy is set up is it's a little bit different, okay? It's it's not something that's, it, you know, it's new. It's, it's kind of a breakthrough sort of way of looking at a database or a spreadsheet. 
And the way that uh, Google Sheets kind of runs is it runs on cells. Okay, so every cell has its own sort of properties. Um, you can add, you know, rows and columns that and define them, but it's a little bit more complex, right? You're looking at editing cells individually for their properties. For instance, like if I wanted to add currency, like a currency header here, I could do that, but then the currency uh, format is only going to affect a cell. So if I click like currency format here, it's only gonna affect this cell. It's only gonna make that $5. Okay, whereas in StackBy, if I go to like product stocking, for instance, this is an example of a way that you can use StackBy, uh, you'll notice that the entire sort of column is formatted a certain way and the entire column has its own sort of property. Same goes for these uh, formulas, okay? This formula spans across this entire column in this case. Well, on Google Sheets over here, uh, you do formulas per cell, okay? For every cell, you can add a formula. And you can achieve a very similar sort of setup like this uh, with Google Sheets, um, minus the great fields that you get right here, such as average rating, tags, etc. StackPy is just simply a lot easier to use. It's a lot easier to get into. And I can't tell you how many people I've ran into that have just told me how much they hate spreadsheets and how confusing spreadsheets are. Uh, it's a little different for me because I'm, I'm somewhat of a nerd and I don't mind using spreadsheets, but um, for the average person, StackBy is going to be a much better option, much easier option to use. Next, I'm going to be comparing Google Sheets and StackBy on their formulas property, okay? So StackBy is sort of a newer company. Their formula feature has been sort of in a beta stage for a little while. Uh, whereas Google Sheets has been around for pretty much as long as computers have been around and the spreadsheet has been a staple on every computer and every home and formulas are something that people know somewhat of how to use already in Google Sheets. So there's a little bit of an education curve when it comes to uh, transitioning people to stack by and the way formulas work. So first of all, as I was mentioning earlier, what you'll notice is stack by's formulas are based on the column, whereas in Google Sheets, they're based on each particular cell, right? So I put a formula in here. Um, let's just put some data in. So one here, one there equals this plus this. And we get two. Okay, so that's how formula works in Google Sheets. The way a formula works over here in StackBy is it's based on the column. So we have a bunch of data in here. We have cost of goods sold and we have the retail price and we're trying to figure out profit per unit. So I've created this formula right here that just takes all the retail price column and all of the cost of goods co sold column and uh, subtracts them and it spits it out uh, all along this column here. You can also do some nice uh, string formulas and, and basically uh, put, put a string out, a piece of text. Uh, this is an if function that I use to see if something is out of stock. So if total stock equals total product sold, then the product is going to be uh, out of stock. So I want it to uh, send this string out of stock. Now, in terms of formulas, the obvious winner is going to be Google Sheets. Uh, Google Sheets has just been around longer, it has more capabilities. Uh, I'm going to give Google Sheets a 10 on formulas and StackBy is going to get an eight. Uh, by no means do I think StackBy is a bad software for formulas, that's just not its main focus. But that being said, as you can see, I've really you know, been able to harness some pretty powerful formulas still over here on StackBy. Google Sheets has simply just had a bit of a longer history with formulas, so that's why I'm giving it a 10 and I'm giving StackBy an eight. Now let's compare these two softwares on API capability. So APIs are essentially different connections between uh, softwares. One of StackBy's uh, big selling points is uh, their API connections. So one of the things that I use it for is uh, tracking YouTube videos. So if I go to our YouTube video tracking analyzing section here, uh, you'll see that we're pulling uh, an API connection for view count. And this we can automatically update here by just hitting this refresh button. 
and it will pull in any views that we got since we last refreshed it for this particular video ID. So this API gets pulled directly in here and it's super easy to set up. Literally, I can just click on API configuration, choose the, you know, the API that I wanna connect to. I just put my API key in the settings and then I select what I kind of, uh, you know, wanna use to uh, reference and I can hit video ID, uh, you know, hit apply, it's super easy to set up this API. It's all built into Stackby. And that's one of the great things about Stackby's API functionality. Whereas Google Sheets definitely has the functionality and there are some third party uh, applications that you can actually install to, to pull APIs in Google Sheets. It's just so much harder. And a lot of times you end up paying for uh, more than what you're using uh, with an API set up with Google Sheets because you have to pay for like a software to connect everything. They have to pay per API connection and it just gets really messy and pretty pricey. So yes, you can do APIs with Google Sheets, but Stackby has already built it in and it's just a lot, uh, a lot nicer the way they did it. It's a lot more user friendly. So in terms of API capability, I'm going to give Google Sheets a six not because it can't provide API connections, but just because it's not readily available to the user and you really have to do some digging to figure out how to do it. In fact, I've tried it myself and it's very confusing getting an API connection with another software and then interpreting that data. Um, you know, one of the things that I tried doing in uh, Google Sheets a while back that I remember I had to hire a, um, a developer to help me connect an API to Google Sheets. And that's just something I don't want to do if I'm an entrepreneur. You know, I want to be able to get ideas out quickly. So being able to easily connect um, an API using Stackby, I'm going to give Stackby a nine on API capability. Uh, only reason it's not 10 is because they're constantly adding APIs, but there are some APIs that they don't have yet. However, they do have a Zapier integration. So with Zapier, you can actually uh, connect, you know, pretty much pretty much any application out there that's connected with Zapier, you can connect with Stackby. And Zapier has a huge database of applications that they support. So that being said, nine out of 10 for API capability for Stackby and six out of 10 for Google Sheets. Now, last, I wanna to touch on look and feel. So what do I like about Stackby's look and feel versus Google Sheets? Well, in Google Sheets, you can definitely get a bit more custom, right? We can we can uh, edit these cells. I can add different fills. Uh, let me just show you, for instance, you, know, you can do this, you can merge things. You can definitely change the look and feel uh, very easily here. You can manipulate it, you can format it. You, there's different themes that you can choose from here. But out of the box, look and feel for stack by is the winner for me. Um, you know, with a spreadsheet, I would say it's more flexible in terms of what you can make it look like. But with stack by, you're just going to get an out of the box, great looking software. So if I go to my overview here, I just love this, how you can like, you know, just have these different colors for these uh, drop down tags. And it's just already formatted so nicely. They have these nice little icons for each different type of uh, property here and on top of that when you add a new stack you can create it from scratch and you can add you know colors to kind of color code it um, so I'm just gonna give this a name you can create the stack and as you see it'll show up right here with that nice color coding so in terms of look and feel I I would say this is definitely subjective you know some people might like the flexibility of the spreadsheet because you can definitely change a lot more when it comes to look and feel with a spreadsheet but when it comes to stack by it just looks good out of the box and it's just really intuitive to use right you have these average rating fields like you can't just pop something like that in on google sheets super easily um i'm sure there's a way i'm sure there's a plugin that somebody created or you know, uh, tool that they created for Google Sheets. But, you know, it, there's nothing easier than just being able to add a field and it just looks good already. So with Stack by, I would give it a nine. And I'm also, this might be controversial, but I'm also gonna give Google Sheets a nine because I think it just depends on who you are, right? Like if you're somebody who wants to be super customized and you don't mind taking the time uh, to customize this, then, you know, you can make a Google Sheet look pretty good. But if you're the type of person that just likes things to look good and you don't want to waste your time, uh, stack by is the better option in my opinion. Now there's been sort of this repetitive theme throughout this entire video and that's that 
Uh, essentially, stack buy is the better option if you're trying to get something up quick and you want something flexible, something lightweight um, or heavyweight, to be honest with you. You can run stack buy as a heavyweight database as well, I would say. Stack buy is just easier to get things up quick and, and as a flexible solution for any type of custom database you want to create. Whereas Google Sheets, it can be just that for you as well, but it just takes more time and you have to actually develop a skill set to use Google Sheets in my opinion. One thing I would say is StackBuy's strong point is its API connections. That's one of the things that I really like about it. I also like that it already has these custom fields set up for you, these custom properties that you can use. There's just so many and they all pretty much fit into any need that you could possibly have with a database. Whereas on Google Sheets, um, you can create those things, but they're not, um, they're not just built into the software, which is a bit annoying. I would say that if there's one thing that Google Sheets wins on right now, it's probably formulas, but StackBuy is slowly getting better at that as well. So with all that said, I wanted to total up those scores that we had earlier. Uh, StackBuy got a nine on flexibility, a nine on ease of use, an eight on formulas, a nine on API capability, and a nine on look and feel totaling out to 44 out of 50 for stack buy. And Google Sheets got a seven for flexibility, a seven for ease of use, a 10 for formulas, a six for API capability, and a nine for look and feel, totaling to 39 out of 50. Our winner is stack buy. Now I know this is a subjective opinion. As I said multiple times in the video, it depends on who you are and what sort of projects you're working on. But overall, I just think that you know, stack by is the better software for me uh, based on these metrics. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do want to grab a free trial of stack by, there will be a link in the description. Check that out. I'll see you guys in the next video.